Hey, it's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today we're going to talk about how to fix a cylinder that don't want to lock up on you. See how I can turn this? Sometimes I can, and sometimes I can. It's been getting worse and worse. See this? Okay, now it's locking, but sometimes it don't. See? Shouldn't be able to turn that cylinder, and sometimes it's so. Uh, see, right now it's locking up good, and then it's locking up. See, it's gonna try to make a liar out of me, but I wouldn't have ordered the parts to fix it if it wasn't true. It's gonna lock up there. Well, you seen it? Uh, there it goes. There it goes. It just seems to. Sometimes I can just keep spinning this thing like that, <laughs> and sometimes I can't. So anyway, um, the usual suspect, whenever this is a problem, is what you call a cylinder stop plunger with a spring. And it just looks like that right there. So. Um, I know that this is a problem for some folks, so I just figured I'd just go ahead and do it. I haven't opened it up at all, um, so we're just going to do it, see how quick it goes and how fancy it goes, how smooth it goes. This is one of my smallest flat screwdrivers that I have, and this large size, so I resorted to my small little screwdriver set, and uh, on... Uh, these things come apart different ways. The object of the game is to take the cylinder completely out, this crane, completely out of the front of your pistol. And because uh, we need to get to the plunger and the spring. So you'll just, you may have to resort to your manual to see how yours comes apart, but many of them come apart just like this with just one screw right here you remove it and um, you carefully remove it because this is a uh, little detent right here this screw itself is a detent right there see the spring action in here so you want to be careful all right so we get set that out and then whenever we do that this should just slide right out the front um, you want to do it slowly there's a spring in there uh, okay like I said I didn't do this beforehand we're doing it for the first time together there it is right there there's your little your little plunger and I'm doing this on my tailgate so we got plenty of sunlight and there's a spring attached to the front of that plunger right there and now we're just going to replace it with our new one And these things look like a spring can go on either side, so you shouldn't have to orient orient the spring and in no certain order. And then you put it back in there, just like that. Make sure it functions like that. Might even add some lube if you think you need a little bit of lube in there. Probably wouldn't hurt. And then we slide that crane real easy in there. You don't want to lose that that plunger. Okay. A little backwards here for the camera.
just want to make sure you get that plunger in without hitting the rim or you'll end up shooting it over into the inside there and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just close that and, uh, and then I'm going to put this detent screw it's an important screw so don't lose it like I showed you before it has a, a spring in it and we're going to get that back in there Just snug it up just like that and that's the uh, the locking bolt right there so that's what that plunger spring pushes up on right there whenever it goes inside it rocks the locking lug to the up position and there we go so that's the usual suspect for a cylinder that is having a problem locking right there on this little Taurus ultralight <laughs> Alright, well you guys stay tuned. I got a uh, another Independence Day video coming up and uh, I, hope, uh, I hope this was helpful to one of you guys and uh, I'll see you in the next video.